Hey, what's going on guys? It's Computer Madman here, and welcome to the uh, fourth episode of the Computer Madman Tech Experiences. So today's episode, I'm going to be giving my personal opinion on my Xbox 360. Uh, this is the Xbox 360 Slim. Uh, currently at the minute, I do not have um, an Xbox One. Uh, this is just the Xbox uh, 360 Slim, which is the one after the Arcade and the Elite. So the specs for the Xbox 360 Slim are currently on the screen now. So this Xbox 360 Slim I've currently had for probably about two, possibly maybe three years now. Uh, I did have one before this, but the uh, internal graphics uh, ended up frying and um, basically we took it to a repair. Uh, the guy was able to repair it the first time but then the second time he said it was basically unrepairable because the graphics had completely like fried and I had that for probably about like uh, three four years as well so this one's still going uh, which is awesome. Uh, so currently the only main thing I can really say um, about it is the fact that inside the back here as you can see, I've actually got a uh, 120 gig um, hard drive, 120 gig gigabyte hard drive, uh, because the internal storage on this is only a 4 gig one, which kind of sucks. So uh, pretty much that's it for the 360. I'm just going to get through some of the accessories. So um, currently. Uh, I actually have four controllers, as you can see there's uh, one white, there's a second white one, then over here we've got a black one which is actually a silver um, one, a shiny black one, and we have a black grey one, as you can see this one's got grey on the bottom whereas that's just pure black. Um, preferably I prefer, well I prefer the white ones, I just think the white ones stand out so much better than the black. But yeah, all the controllers work pretty much perfectly apart from one of the white ones does have a uh, the RB button I think it is, uh, one of them for some reason you have to press it down a bit harder for it to actually work. But aside from that all the controllers work perfectly. Uh, currently inside these controllers I use a rechargeable battery pack which my mum got me for Christmas. Uh, they're actually not that great, well, uh, no it wasn't Christmas, I think it was actually for my birthday. I asked for some for my birthday because I hated using the rechargeables. And pretty much like these are absolutely garbage, uh, they just don't hold their charge pretty much like at all and then as you can see because it uses the plug and play charge kit so that goes into the front of the Xbox or the back wherever you put it, I put mine in the front and then there's the little LED indicator that's supposed to change but what happens is it will turn green um, and green is supposed to mean that it's fully charged but then once you take it out the controller just automatically dies anyway because the battery pack is rubbish and it just doesn't hold its charge at all Okay, so just for this last bit, I just want to get over the last accessory which I have, which is this um, game wallet. So I just want to go through all the games that I currently have. So I have FFX, Minecraft Story Mode, Call of Duty Black Ops, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Modern Warfare 2, uh, Rayman Legends, Dead Island, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Battlefield 3, the multiplayer disc, uh, GTA 5, Minecraft Story Mode, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, uh, Sonic Boom, Sonic Generations, Minecraft Story Mode, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, uh, Sonic Generations, Dark Souls 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Dead Island Riptide, um, Battlefield 3, Disc 2, which is the single player, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Call of Juarez, Dead or Alive 4, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Digital games I've got Battleblock Theatre, Dark Souls 1, Deadberg, Peter 17 Demo, Halo Reach, Hitman Absolution, Connect Party, Minecraft, Mirror's Edge, Red Dead Redemption, and Super Meat Boy. Alright, so the next part we're going to be doing is I'm going to uh, just be showing you my Xbox 360's uh, current setup with my uh, telly. Now, um, you guys are probably thinking whether I'm going to actually show you what's actually on my console, but, but uh, I just don't see the point in doing it. Because pretty much every Xbox 360 is the same. Pretty much the dashboard all looks the same. The only things you change is like your theme, your gamer picture, your gamer tag, and it just shows your profile race. Really. So there's not really much to show. So I'm just going to show the basic setups. Uh, so this setup is actually connected via an extension cable. So I've got my main plug there, which leads down into this extension where I've got uh, my mum's printer and the computer 
And then this sort of red cable travels sort of all the way along and it goes into this um, double extension pad here where the Xbox and TV both plug into. So currently my Xbox is hooked round the back of my telly. Normally it wouldn't. Uh, it would be down under here lying flat where these two uh, cables are sticking out. Now the reason why I have moved it to the back is because I'm starting to use a new headset. I'm using the uh, Turtle Beach Air Force PX11 which are the ones I actually um, already have made a video on which I'll leave a uh, link probably on the screen now or down below in the description. So it is pretty much a very messy setup at the minute, I'm not going to lie, now the reason why it is messy is because of the fact that on the side here uh, I have the 3.5mm jack uh, which uh, unfortunately because I have because uh, I can't seem to find my extension cable anywhere uh, I've had to place the Xbox closer to the telly's earphone jack in order for it to reach because on this headset there's a USB end which has to go into the Xbox and the 3.5mm jack that has to go into the side of the telly so unfortunately the earphone jack had to be moved closer and to do that I had to move the Xbox behind the telly so also uh, I've also got another cable uh, here this is for the uh, plug and play charge kit uh, I'm gonna try and get rid of it because of the fact that uh, I don't really want two cables dangling out down uh, the back of my TV stand because as you can see I've got one for the uh, plug and play charge kit and then I've got the other one for the headset. I don't mind the headset because obviously you know that one's needed but I need to try and find that extension cable so I can move the Xbox back down just so it's not as uh, messy looking. And like I say normally I wouldn't use this headset uh, on the Xbox, but it's just because of the fact that I don't actually really get to use it very often. I only use it occasionally when I'm doing uh, YouTube videos on the laptop, and I want to, you know, use them a lot more. I want to, you know, just make the most of them, basically. And I've started, you know, I started doing the setup, uh, changed the setup like literally a few days ago, and it's the sound quality for playing games is absolutely awesome. I, I freaking love it. So yeah guys, that is the end of the Xbox 360 um, Computer Man Man Tech Experience Opinion Review. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like, comment, rate and subscribe uh, if you did enjoy it. Uh, setup definitely needs changing, I'm not going to lie about that. I'm going to try and get that done pretty much ASAP. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time where I'm going to be giving my opinion of this little bad boy. So I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.